Hello everybody and welcome, it's Vidan here, so glad that you could tune into another video and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Okay, so today I have got a full run through of 35 tiers on this new boss. Now I will say this is not a fun boss in the slightest, but um, I believe that I've got it down pretty well to consistently get 35 tiers with not too much of an issue. Now I do not push time that much, but you can obviously go and push the time down as much as you want to. But um, I was kind of fed up by the time this run was done, so I didn't care too much about time. I think we got like a 10 minute time, which isn't terrible. But um, if 35 tiers ends up being the minimum, then it will just be a contest of just kind of edging this down. But OK, so this is a very big video, um, so I'm super sorry about that. But the idea is if I just show it full video on, you know, exactly how I play it, like 50 minutes long, you can just watch it one to one and get the exact same setup as me. And hopefully, you know, in under an hour, you've got this run done and then you're sorted. So that's the kind of idea behind it. So this is very important here, okay? Um, this farm spot, I believe, is potentially, well, it's the only one I found, one of the only farm spots that allows you to miss um, Leech's buff stealing ability on tier 3. So why this was useful and why I used this spot is because it allowed me to keep ultra boost stacks on my banana central during the full tier 3 kill, which obviously means I'm not going to lose a lot of money. So you'll see we'll actually be able to get an Engigon um, degree 20 on round 99, but we could buy it on like round 96 or 97 degree 17. And also, by the way, degree 17 would work. So um, it's very important to just try and keep eco as good as you can and this banana farm spot is definitely something that um, I'd recommend trying to do. Unless you can find another one, I have yet been able to find another spot. So um, in case you don't know, obviously Lich has kind of a cyclical um, buff stealing ability nature embedded within him. We want to try and overcome that and have a farm out of range so that it doesn't steal the buffs because say if you've got seven stacks on it say and then you end up losing that and you've got to get them all up again it's a big money loss and it's a bit annoying. Okay so place this farm as far to the bottom right as you physically can. Okay so let's just give a brief outline of everything that I do um, if I can remember correctly and then I'll just pinpoint you to very important parts Namely, um, tier 4 and tier 3 are the most interesting because, um, or between tier 3 and tier 4, should I say, because you really need to be careful with round 95. So I'll explain what you need to do there. But, okay, so we went for Corvus and then a 200 farm, then 220, then 320, and now we're going to go and get a balloon trap. The position of this balloon trap, by the way, is very particular. Once again, there's going to be a bit of RNG involved, which is a little bit annoying. But if you place him a bit too far to the right, then what can happen is, say if you exit and reload, um, his balloon trap will just, for some reason, not be on the track ever again. So you've got to restart all over, which is really annoying. So I try and put him in between the two presents. And what this will allow us to do is that it will allow the balloon trap to actually land on the track, but also the base tower itself is not going to be stealing too many pops, okay? And that's exactly what we want. Okay, now that we've got the balloon trap, or when we get the balloon trap, which will be the end of round 26, um, so as a brief outline, we will then go and get a 140 spike factory. Now, getting its 250 is the easy strategy. That's the 36 tier strategy, okay? That means you won't have any issue with like round 95, say, because it's already got lead properties. But we're going for 35 tiers, so it's just 140 that we're going to build here okay then after 140 spike factory it'll be um brf then it'll be overclock then it'll be carpet of spikes but this is very important too okay so before i buy carpet of spikes i delay it as much as i can the reason for this is that from tier one to tier two farming say if you get carpet of spikes round 50 it's going to basically half your balloon trap income due to the fact that he's going to steal loads and loads of pops from the trap itself, okay? So I actually delayed getting Carpet of Spikes um, from 40 to 60 just to enable me to get more money. Then once you've got Carpet of Spikes, um, life is very easy for a while. You go and get Banana Central, then I got XXXL Trap, then I got Ultra Boost, and we also had to get Sentry Champion, okay? So that's like a rough outline. But just like I said, um, you need to have a particular Bloom Trap location, so try and copy what I've done there. You need to have this Banana Farm exactly where I've put it as well, and get a bit of RNG look. And you also need to be really on it for like round 95, say. And of course... Um, 
just basically always collect from the balloon trap, by the way, as frequently as you can. Um, keep allowing yourself to collect it as quick as possible. So that's why I actually just play on slow speed, because any little discrepancies like that can you lose you some income. So quite tedious. You're basically just looking at the screen all the time, um, tapping the balloon trap away. But uh, it is what it is, and I guess that's what needs to be done. Okay, so let me give a brief overview of how to do round 95 as well, which you will see. That's at 41 minutes, 40 seconds, okay? So skip to 41 minutes, 40 seconds if that's the bit that you've been having issues with. But if you think it's too hard, then just stick an extra cross path on the carpet of spikes and you will be good. Okay, so if I recall correctly, I um, waited until the leads got very close to the end, okay? When the leads first spawn, then I'm going to use vision, spear, and trample okay that's the first thing we're going to use from corvus and then what we have to do is we have to use echo and the big hand um once the ddt start coming in make sure you've got basically all abilities ready for round 95 and what i mean by that is make sure that um you've got enough nourishment stuff the nourishment ability ready the harvest ability sorry so that you can easily go and get everything that you need from corvus because it's very very quick happening uh quick fire you have to be really on it and it's also just kind of a bit of luck also um after the hands and echo i'm sorry that i forgot the name but there's one that just causes like a big explosion i got that as well as a bit of a panic but i don't believe you need that it's just you get um vision trample spear Okay, then when the DDTs start coming, you need to get the big hand, that big hang that smacks everything and echo. And just with a few practice um, runs, you should be able to do it. Make sure as well, you don't spend monkey money. Just if you see that the attempt's failing, I know it can be a bit hard because DDTs move quick, but if you can see it failing, just exit and reload and try again. Okay, sometimes that's all you need to do. So try not to spend monkey money on that. Also, I did actually put some ultra boosts on the Sentry Champion to help with the cleanup of the DDTs as well, because we're going to keep the ultra ultra boost on the central from such an early stage and we're not going to lose it during tier three um we can afford to put some ultra boosts on the central champion because our eco will be great um i just want to say as well a big thank you for me for this kind of past 12 months i can't believe it's been 12 months since we've started this channel but it's been absolutely amazing and i've really enjoyed the community getting to know a lot of you guys and yeah just thank you guys so much for all the support but well, that's enough of me rambling it's just going to be the full long haul video of um, exactly what i did so I hope that you can follow it well, and I want to see some 35 tier scores um, taking up the leaderboard. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Have a fantastic Christmas break. Um, hope you get to spend it with your friends and family. And maybe if you get a bit of relaxation time, you can try and play a little bit of balloons in between. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's worth going for the 35 tiers because that will be top 50. So try and just persevere with round 95. You can do it. And just keep um, you know aware of the fact that Corvus is very, very strong as a hero, actually. Like, um, I'm sure we've all seen the Mass Maves video, right, where it just soloed all of Chimps, which is outrageous. So he has got the power to do it, and you do too. Just see what I did in the video, and uh, I wish you all the best of luck. So thank you, guys, and I'll see you guys very soon.